Yeah, we've been here for 30 years. When we were looking after um, homeless young people, we I was just a bog basic standard farmer and the young people really did not fit on the farm. We could offer them food, we could offer them a bed, we could offer them love, but basically they were very fed up. And so we got involved with free range egg production um, because it was something that angry hands can become gentle hands and start collecting eggs. They want to count their eggs, then we want to grade them and pack them, get out on the van, handle money, meet people. And, and it was really a, 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 our chickens do a much more important job than lay eggs. I mean, yeah, we need the egg, but the actual, what that egg will do for a young person, while they're here, we have autistic people, we have Down syndrome people here, and they can all find their own level of, quite literally, an autistic person just collecting an egg. For them, that's an, a miracle. But we've got youngsters that are quite capable of working out £1.60 a dozen, two and a half dozen, you know, and we can teach them that. And we, we can take them on and they love going out in the van and meeting customers and basically becoming socially acceptable and we can get them back into school and, and heal their anger, that's really what it's all about. Josh, I, can't, I really can't remember but it must be, you've worked for us a year now yeah. and you were here at school for a year and a half. Well, uh, yeah. yeah, so Josh has been with us two and a half years now. Came to us as one of our students that was struggling at school and um, or school was struggling with you yeah. <laughs> um, and they needed somewhere to put him out of the way uh, um, but you got on right from the beginning didn't you you just enjoyed yeah. being here yeah so you can you tell me why you came here uh, I, I've got ADHD and basically I had anger problems at school and I took it out on everyone at school and I couldn't deal with being at school at all and that basically school thought I was dangerous to have one in it and that they wanted me out of it as quick as they could but then I came here and they sent me here and I, I admittedly at first I was reluctant to come because I thought oh it's a farm I don't want to deal with it and then I got here and I just changed I couldn't not I couldn't it, be angry at anything because <laughs> Everything was all right to me. Yeah. And what made that special then? How what do you think was made you feel good here? Love, I guess. Hmm? Love. Love. Where does that love come from then? Everyone here. <laughs> and God. <laughs> right. Please. Just for the set for the record, what is ADHD? Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Right. And do you feel that's getting better now? Yeah. At first, I'm trying to blame everything on that, but most of it was when I got a problem yeah. that I didn't want to deal with. And then, basically, I blamed everything on me, you see, when I really realised I can control what I do and how I do it. Yeah. Because I had noticed that you work so much better when you're with someone, rather than when you're left on your own to get on with the job. Yeah. Is that to do with that as well, yeah. and that you just can't concentrate? Yeah, I do have a bit of a short attention span. <laughs> well, so, he's having your own driving lessons now, and are you getting on with them? Quite well. I can do it, drive without stalling, so yeah. I'm quite happy with myself. Yeah. And I know some road signs and that, so I'm getting through them. Yeah. I mean, we are able to pay with driving lessons with eggs. Eggs pay for so many things around here that, um, it's, it's wonderful, we've had lots of young people that have gone through their driving lessons here with the egg, eggs paying for paying for it, because it's a very expensive thing for somebody. How many lessons will you have had now? Fifteen. Is that all? Yeah. Seems like a lot more than that. This is Bittel, this is where Beryl and I used to live. Um, we lived in the farmhouse and we converted all the buildings. Yeah, we converted all the buildings into accommodation. And there's accommodation for, I think, about 35 people there now. They are all 
recovering drug addicts, alcoholics or whatever. And it is the most amazing, amazingly peaceful place. They are the best neighbours anybody could ever hope to want. And um, that's just a brilliant, brilliant recovery rate. Um, people um, who have been on heavy drugs for 20 years are coming off them and getting back into society. Yeah, this is just amazing, this is. We've seen so many people, granddads and grandsons, young and old, just banging on the lid. And um, we encourage people to take a nail home with them so that they can um, hold it in their pocket and remember what it's all about. Uh, we had a Christmas card from someone, we don't know who it is, but it just said thank you for the nail. And that meant so much to us. It's somebody who's banged a nail in and um, taken a nail home with them. And that nail they've taken home has obviously meant a lot to them. And the Christmas card just said thank you for the nail. <laughs> I mean, this is sort of the centre part of our open farm, really, which is an all-weather thing. That polytunnel there has got all indoor play kit and um, picnic benches and so on. So even on a day like today, it's really quite pleasant in there and um, children can play and mums and dads can just sit and, and enjoy the fresh air and we are we are working more and more now on different um, yep. indoor things so that we're more attractive through the winter This is our bus that will never go anywhere else again, I'm afraid, but um, Arriva very kindly sent it here a few years ago. And it's a very popular spot for young children and a place for sit down. They love sitting in this driving seat. Have you seen our nativity scene? Mary and Joseph are 15 foot high. <laughs> Uh, they look a bit weathered now, but they've got taken down today or tomorrow. And if you pan around, that's our shop there. And then through there is the tea room. Yeah, this was a complete surprise to us. In uh, about a month ago, we got a letter from the Prime Minister asking if uh, so we wanted to accept uh, an MBE. Initially, I thought somebody was um, taking the rip out of us, but it dawned on us that it was actually a fact. And, um, a wonderful fact, a surprise. We were a bit horrified because we knew there was going to be a lot of publicity to go with it, but it also gave me the opportunity to think that I can actually use this MBE to get to people like David Cameron and um, senior people in the government to help them to understand that they are talking about a big society. The big society already exists. Places like Highfields, Happy Hems, like Vital. Oh, there are thousands of organisations around the country that are struggling so hard to provide a social solution um, which the government just can't provide. Um, they can spend a lot of money locking people up, punishing them, but ultimately the majority of social problems are caused by um, a need to be loved and understood. And, and we've got a generation of people, of young people now, who are completely confused. I, I would like to see Happy Hands Farms all over the country. And we've started a more thing called the National Care Farming Initiative. We've located about a hundred farms now around the country that are involved in one form or another of social care. But we are not properly accepted by the government. In Holland there are 800 care farms and they're part of the education system, the youth offending system, the health system. It's a recognised source of healing and, and I'd very much like our government to take that on board.
Um, yeah, that's a big honour, getting this MBE. It's not, I'm not that bothered about that bit. And um, certainly I can't imagine me ever signing my name MBE, but I can use it as a, as a means to get to um, high places to try and get the government to accept the church as the big society that he's looking for. They don't usually talk to you unless you've got food in your hand. <laughs> Oh yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ye